All right, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on putting in stock non-roller rocker assemblies into stock cast iron heads. I came into a kind of odd scenario with these cylinder heads. They are D3UE heads. So they came off of a 73 Econo line. They got 63 cc chambers, decent heads, look like somebody had done some work to them. But these have the 3 8 studs in them, which I'm assuming they came with. But everything I saw online showed you put the nuts on, you run them down, you torque them to 18 to 23 foot-pounds. Well, clearly not the case with these because once you start running these rockers down, you know, halfway they're opening the valves, you know, with the, with the lifter and the down set, you know, set up. So I just wanted to kind of run through what I ran into. I finally found a guy on a forum that said if you had the... Let's see, 9 16 nut, which would be the 5 16 stud, that you run them down and torque them. But if you have the 5 8 nut, which I do, which goes on the 3 8 stud assembly, then you have to set them up like a small black Chevy. You, you, you know, you put them on here, you make sure they're seated in there correctly make sure it's sitting in that little pocket correctly and then you just kind of run your nut down I know some guys will actually do uh, spin the motor over and off the firing order adjust the valves that way I just kind of I just go around and when the opposing cylinder is coming up on the cam lobe. I know that the one I'm working on is on base zero, so it's okay to set that one up because there's never a time where you know the intake's not on base zero while the exhaust is opening. That's just not not how that works. So let's see, might be kind of a difficult to give you a good picture. Um, Working on this. Hmm. Anyway, so you run this nut down until you get a little bit of resistance. See that push rod still runs freely, but I don't have much movement, so I know I'm close. So I'm just going to turn it a little bit more. Just a little more. And now I got some drag on that when I spin that push rod around. Yeah, I, I need to be really careful when I'm doing these because these are brand new lifters. So they do not have oil, you know, like if you were doing this on an engine that was running, you know, a few hours a day ago or whatever. There's going to be oil in these, and it's not going to want to squish out very easily. So you'll have a little more pressure pushing up on these, because there's a little piston inside these lifters. And since these are squished, I can just push with my finger. So I need to make sure when I'm running these down, as soon as I got a little bit of pressure... That's where I know I can put my preload. Preload means you're tightening the nut down a little bit more, which is actually compressing that piston and that lifter down slightly. So you don't have any valve lash rattle or anything like that. And what I've seen is guy, I mean, it's all over the place. Some guys are saying, you know, you preload them to one turn, one and a quarter turn, 
Other guys say half turn to three quarter. I think I found a pretty credible source that says half turn to three quarters of a turn. And that'll give you 0.030 to 0.060 of valve lash. And what that means is the distance from the top of the lifter to where the piston's sitting once it's compressed. So when it's fully up, measure that distance, and then when you've got your preload set, it should be 0 .030 to 0 .060 down from where it is with no pressure on it. So anyway, on all these, I've got it to where it's touching, so I just do three quarters of a turn. Super simple. And then as I, since I'm doing them in kind of an odd fashion, I just got a little paint marker and I just dot them. When I'm done with them, that way I know I've already done it. And then I mean, just a quick, once you throw your valve cover on, just kind of, you got the same kind of equal protrusion on the nuts from the studs. Because if it's not, you know, it's not torque rate right. they're gonna be off quite a bit but just want to do a quick how-to on setting up these oddball like I said this by the book should have had the you know just torque it down style valve stems but like I said I don't know if somebody came in here and put bigger valve stems in here bigger uh, sorry rocker studs in here at some point I don't know if they're running a bigger cam, so they want something bigger. But this is what I got. It's just kind of a uh, hodgepodge of 302 parts. And these are new push rods as well, as well as new locker nuts. Just kind of cover my bases. But thanks for watching.